Once upon a time there was a little girl who lived with her mother in a little cottage on the edge of a large forest. Her mother had made her daughter a beautiful red cloak with a red hood so everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day Little Red Riding Hood went to go and visit her grandmother. She was not feeling very well. She took some food for her in a basket. Her mother reminded her of the rules of the woods. Number one, keep to the path. Number two, don't talk to wolves. Suddenly, a big grey wolf appeared from behind a tree. Little Red Riding Hood was very frightened. Ah! But the wolf smiled at her and asked her where she was going. I am going to see my grandmother. She is not very well, and I am taking her a basket of food, replied Little Red Riding Hood. Why don't you pick some of these beautiful flowers for her? I am sure they would cheer her up, said the big grey wolf. Little Red Riding Hood thought this was a very good idea and started picking some beautiful flowers. As she was doing this, that naughty big grey wolf raced to the grandmother's cottage and crept inside. As soon as she saw the big grey wolf, poor grandma jumped out of bed and hid in the wardrobe. That naughty wolf put on grandma's spare nightie and cap, wrapped her shawl around himself and jumped into her bed. Then he waited patiently for Little Red Riding Hood to arrive. Soon Little Red Riding Hood arrived at the cottage with her beautiful flowers. Gosh, Grandma, what big eyes you have, she said. All the better to see you with, replied the naughty wolf. Gosh, Grandma, what big ears you have, said Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to hear you with, replied the naughty wolf. Gosh, Grandma, what big teeth you have, gasped Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to gobble you up with, replied the naughty wolf. Little Red Riding Hood screamed so loudly that a woodcutter who happened to be walking nearby heard her. Ah! The woodcutter came rushing in and killed that naughty big grey wolf with his axe. They both looked around the room to find poor Grandma. Where could she be? Do you know where she is? No. Do you know where she is? Let me out, let me out came a tiny, weak voice from inside the wardrobe. They helped Grandma out of the wardrobe and sat her down. They drank a nice cup of tea and ate some cake that Little Red Riding Hood had bought in her basket. Soon Grandma was feeling much better. Never again would they have to worry about the naughty Big Bad Wolf. As for Little Red Riding Hood, she never, ever talked to a wolf again. If you had fun watching us, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for new videos. Until then, Toy Pansy says bye!